Okay, in today's video, we're going to be answering this question right here. So what are we looking to do? We are going to print all the even numbers from a given number list in the same order. So as the list progress, however, as soon as we come across 237 in our list, we're going to stop printing completely and the program will end. So let's get this started up here. And so we're going to be given a list of numbers. Okay, so as we can see, we have numbers and there's a bunch of numbers within this list. I'm going to pull that up there because it looks a bit a little better. Okay, so we got a list, right? We have all our numbers in the list. And as we said, when we come across 237, we're going to stop. So we look through our list. I have 237 right here. Perfect. So how do we want to start this program? Um, I mean, the first place we really want to look at or the first place we want to start is how do we plan on going through our entire list? Well, as we know, whenever you want to sequence or iterate through something, you would utilize a for loop. So what we're going to do is let's create a for loop right here. So we're going to go for uh, x. Again, this number we define as whatever we want for x in numbers. So for every value within our number list, what do we want to do? Well, we want to iterate through it. Um, we also want to print all the even numbers. So let's start off with our bat. I think we, right off the bat, we're going to start with if um, x, if x equals 237. So this is going to be our stop point. So if we hit 237, we stop. We're going to print x, and then we're going to break. Okay. So as you say, if I run it, it's going to run through the list and if it hits 237, it stops. And I think it's actually a really good time to explain what this break keyword is here. So the break keyword is basically a loop control statement within Python. So it's used to terminate a loop or skip to the next code after the loop. Okay. So by using break, it allows us to basically end the code right away. Perfect. Okay, so back to our main question here. So we have our first part of our if statement. What we want to do next is if let's say it's not 237, we want to see if it's an even number. If it is, we want to print it. So we're going to use our L if statement. So if x mod 2, so if x divided by 2, if the remainder is 0, then we want to print x, all right? So we're going to print x. Let's run this program. And here we are. We're given all the even numbers leading up to 237. 386, 462, 418. Perfect. So let's actually do something else here. Let's take this 237 and let's move it to a different part of our list. Let's move it down to here, let's say. Oops. Um, let's go there. We're going to go 237 here, run that to make sure it still works. And let's run our code again. And as we can see, we've now added more numbers that are even within our list. 